It's an important one. It's a very important one. I want to first begin with Shahzad Punawala. Mr. Punawala, you have a problem. You say with all of this, the opposition says, hey, in the same state, you have come up with a pronouncement. You have said certain things about sending people. In fact, in my newsroom, this was a big debate. Oh, the BJP also does it. They also play the religion card. They said that we will send everybody who wants to go and worship at the Ram temple, free of cost, to worship in Ayodhya. So can you set this debate in the right paradigm? Because a lot of people are saying, I don't know if it is only for Hindus that award that you have promised. I presume you've, because Ram is the Maryada Purushottam, he doesn't really conform to any one particular ideal of one particular faith. I suppose anyone can go, right? Mr. Punawala, or is that really only meant for Hindus? It depends if they have faith in Prabhu Shri Ram, they should all take uh, avail benefit of it. But those people in your newsroom, did they ever utter a word when Haji Yatra is to be done on the Sarkari Karcha? Anyways, let me not get into that. Today, you know, what has happened is that there are three strains of the same virus. And I call this the virus of the cap. Cap meaning not the cap we wear. It's called competitive appeasement politics before anybody else takes out any other meaning. <laughs> One has Muslim in its very name and agenda. Ittehadul Muslimin. The other has Muslim in its IT parks. 250 units are given free to Muslim shops. And third has Muslim in its declaration. And the declaration made by the leader was also that we are a Muslim party. First right of resources belongs to Muslims. So this cap politics or this strain of cap virus is the reason why we are seeing this competitiveness being done in appeasement politics. And the only antidote, the only vaccine against this cap virus is the Bharati Danta party. Look, all three participants, I think uh, there are all representatives from the Telangana uh, who are fighting the Telangana elections. All of them in unison say that Muslim reservation should be there. All of them in unison are saying that this kind of politics is kosher. And it is only the BJP which says that the politics of appeasement can't go to the extent of saying reservation will also be done in the name of religion. And therefore, we are very clear that we are the antidote to this politics. The politics has gone to such a level that even in the TSP, uh, the Telangana State Public Service Commission uh, uh, examinations, you saw that the burqa was allowed, but Mangal Sutra was not allowed for the participant or for the person coming for the exam. So this is the level to which this politics has gone. And therefore, this is appeasement politics at its worst. And I think this kind of politics is only going to damage the social fabric and therefore we are saying that this kind of politics should be put to an end and we have actually done that whether it is in Karnataka whether it is in other states wherever we have formed governments or come into government we have ended religious based reservation and we will intend to do that in Telangana too okay that's a pretty pretty strong opening from the Bharatiya Janta Party Mahesh Bigala of the uh, BRS and then uh, I also want to bring in Dr. Ranganathan on this, it's an important debate. I don't know what's going to be next. Muslim IT parks, uh, will they make halal certified IT solutions next? Uh, sir, I mean, what is going on? Why are you doing this in your state? Let me read out what one of the great legacies of our, of our nation state had to say after partition. Her name is Begum Azad Rasul, and she came from the United Provinces. And she says, I have from the very beginning felt that in a secular state, the reservation of seats for minorities to me seems meaningless and useless. To my mind, reservation of any kind is a self-destructive weapon which separates the minorities from the majority for all time. It gives no chance to the minorities to win the goodwill of the majority. It keeps them, keeps up the spirit of separatism and communalism. Is that what you're doing, sir? separatism and communalism through the back door and you call yourself a secularist party Mr. Bigala these are not my words these are the words of the Begum and respond to the Begum tonight forget about me respond to her who said these words in India's hallowed constituent assembly before responding to you our Mr. Begum I would like to respond to Mr. Prime Minister Modi today. So wh when he comes to Telangana and he talks about the Shadi Mubarak and all, I'm not sure whether he's talking out of ignorance or to divert the people. See, we know the BJP is always like to divide and rule. 
whether it's a Hindu or Muslim, whether it's a religion or caste, is they want they don't have any agenda for the country. Its only thing is just the play their politics based on the religion and the and the caste. So if you look at the uh, the Shadi Mubarak, whatever you have mentioned about fifty one thousand rupees, that was introduced by the KCR government with fifty one thousand rupees as a Kalyan Lakshmi for Hindus and in the name of Muslims for the Shadi Mubarak. It's been extended to the 101 lakh 16,000 rupees. But Modi is with the ignorance or intentionally he is quoting about the minority, uh, the, the amount whatever is being given to the minorities, but not about the other Hindus and other religions. So this is clearly a divisive politics what he is playing because they have only one MLA in the state of Telangana and BJP is going to be wiped out of the state uh, in the upcoming election. So only is, is option and the agenda is to divide the people. And you know that uh, with the Ambedkar's uh, constitution, it is the subcaste, like it is the scheduled caste, SC and STs. So he planned to divide SC. Sir, can we get thing, more specific, Mr. Bigala? Mr. Bigala, can we get a little more specific tonight, please? Okay. In, in you know, one or two things. No, hang on, hang on. You're also clutching at straws. Okay. Amongst all the things that you have done, you've given some little bit somebody to some other community. So you're saying, okay, that excuses us. I just want to ask you, sir, small question. You're giving four and a half percent quota, your promise, under the OBC. Why, sir? It's Why are you based doing this? Socio economic situation in no, the no, no. You know what the courts have said, sir. It is based on the socio economic situation. So there are no so there are no poor Hindus at all. There are no upper caste Hindus, Brahmins. So there are upper caste, there is a MBC and OBC. So yeah. we need to understand the government is doing its best to get the things for everybody. Okay. Because but Muslims will be given no no Muslims will be given out of the existing OBC quota, sir. So when the courts have taken a position on this and said no, when the constituent assembly greats have said no, please don't do this. I mean, you tell me, I want to ask you tonight, sir, you're a very educated man. You've come well prepared for this show, Mr. Bigala. If in Islam they don't recognize caste, so under why, under what criteria are you giving Muslims caste-based reservation, quotas, under OBC? It is based on, as clearly said, it is based on the socio-economic But it has been struck down by the AP High and Court. You recognize the High Court or not? We recognize the High Court. We recognize the Supreme Court. We recognize the cent uh, Central yeah, Government. Yeah, so the India. High Court has come we, out and said... As a state... No, no as a it state, is said that it is... Talked about sir, as a in 20, 2012, the AP High Court struck down the 4.5% central sub-quota for minorities also in Uttar Pradesh. Central... Forget about state. We come to state in 2007. YSR Congress, AP state government again decreed 5% quota for socially and educationally backward Muslims, which in August 2007 became an act. A seven judge bench of the AP High Court rejected the quota as unsustainable. Before that, sir, it said it is wholly unconstitutional in 2004. But you continue to go with it. What am I going to call that? And what are you doing with IT parks only for Muslims, sir? Is there one okay, for Hindus? Okay, I want to bring it to that. See, the IT parks are there for everyone. Probably just you want to understand the history of the Telangana state. So the state, there has a lot of Muslim population in the state of Telangana. And the BJP wants to divide the people with the state of... The sir, you are promising the Muslims a separate to, IT park? Yes so or no? I, just no, answer me. Coming, or have you I lied to the be, people? No, no, I am coming to the same point. Before I come to that point, the state of Telangana has increased the job levels from 3 lakh jobs to the 10 lakh jobs in the state of Telangana. And Telangana has started women enterprise quota and we have started the V-hubs in Telangana entire state. We have started the second tier cities. We want to attract every talent, every corner I know. Sir, are you promising Muslims an IT park for them? Yes, no. Just give me it an is, answer. I am giving you the clear answer. We have the IT hubs for secondary cities. We have for the women. We have for the minority. Sir, we have it for everyone. You have Not them for Muslims. We <laughs> have for everybody. We, we are inclusive uh, party. Oh, for we, everybody. We are, we are, we are for, inclusive For party. Muslims. We are a secular. So we you will have Hindus. Party. You will have Hindus there. We, if it is a minority, if it is men. Ah, if it, see, viewers, there it is. I've cleared it up for you. 
No, no. If it is this a society, IT park will be built no, only for Muslims. What next? Muslim-only no, no, colonies, Muslim-only no, no, restaurants, Muslim-only buses, Muslim-only metros, Muslim-only airports, Muslim-only airlines. What is next? No, no. Please tell me because they are so backward. So tell me what next? No, no. Let me ask you the same question. So Modi got the women's bill. We got. So is that? Can somebody contest in the women's? Uh, Sir, I'm uh, not talking about women. We are talking no, about no, religious, no, no. religious Telangana. reservations. No, no. It is Telangana. in several, several Telangana. high court orders. Are you going Tel against your own high court? Simple Telangana, question. Telangana government is a secular state. We are a party. Okay. So giving secular, one religion, is one religion is reservations a, in IT parks is secular viewers. This is a new definition of secularism. Okay. Fair enough, sir. You've said your point. You are insisting. That this is your secular outreach. So let me bring in uh, Dr. Anand Ranganathan. Dr. Ranganathan, what do you make of it? It's very secular, you see. What is wrong? Why are you opposing it? Good evening, Rahul. Look, this is an absolutely wonderful discussion. Uh, notwithstanding your uh, relentless chasing of the previous panelists to extract an iota of truth, which unfortunately could not happen. But uh, by all means, each to his own. But you know. Uh, the issue is absolutely, as you said, is of minority appeasement. But when you bring in freebie, I, I want to through you because, you know, your your show is one that deals with hard facts and triggers discussion and debates. And that is the whole point, I suppose. So through you, I want to make it a little bit broader. I want to include not only minority appeasement freebies. I want to define them, but I also want to trigger this debate on freebie because even the Supreme Court said there needs to be a debate on freebies that debate has never happened because politicians don't want it so if you were to allow me i want to indulge in a couple of minutes and actually broaden this issue out can i please do that with your permission yeah, yeah of course go ahead <clears throat> thanks very much you know there are two issues here number one let's be very honest about it every single political party indulges in freebies let me give you three examples a electricity these are promises arm army party 300 units per month free to all in gujarat congress 400 units per month free to all in Uttarakhand, BJP, 125 units per month free to all in Himachal, TMC, 75 units per month free to all in Bengal, AAP, BJP, SP, Congress, DMK, free electricity for irrigation to all farmers in Punjab, UP and Tamil Nadu, B, women, Aam Aadmi Party, 1000 per month to all women over 18 in Gujarat, Congress, 1500 per month to all women over 18 in Himachal, DMK, 1000 per month to all women family heads, BPL in Tamil Nadu, C, senior citizens, AAP, Free pilgrimage to Ayodhya for daily senior citizens, BJP. Free pilgrimage to <laughs> Jerusalem for Nagaland senior citizens, Hamadwadi Party. Free pilgrimage to Ajmer Sharif for UP senior citizens, Congress. Free pilgrimage to Shirdi for Rajasthan senior citizens, water, electricity, bus rides, laptops, bicycles, Samman Nidhi, loan waiver, free sari, reservation quotas. No, Rahul. The question is not of freebies. The question is, what qualifies as a freebie? Where does one draw that line between what is freebie and what is welfareism? Rahul, I am for welfareism. A country like India, where the GDP per capita is only $2,000, has to be a welfare state. Otherwise, people will be wiped out in their tens of millions. Health, education, toilets, gas cylinder, tap water, these need to be supplied by the state. Can you imagine? If Modi had not provided 80 crore Indians free food for two years during COVID, tens of millions would have perished. No, the question is not about state supporting its citizens. As a supporter of welfare state, I am for, of the opinion that welfare state is only possible through capitalism. The state cannot earn money through socialism and spend it on socialism, which is what is unfortunately happening in this country. It is simply unsustainable. The second and more important point is, can we draw a line between freebies and welfare? I think one can. One can make a beginning. Welfareism is where the state gives free health, education, tap water, toilets, gas cylinders. Freebie is one where the state gives away in cash or kind for the purposes of either appeasement or such acts that go against national interest. For example, MSP and supporting sugarcane cultivation is against national interest. Supporting middlemen, farmers and repealing farm reforms was against national interest. Reverting to old pension scheme is against national interest. Generations to come would suffer. But does that matter to Congress? What is telling is that the new pension scheme was implemented by the Congress and the UP in 2005. The then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was a votary of it. It was Manmohan Singh and Monte Kaluwalia. Monte Kaluwalia said that OPS would lead to a fiscal disaster for states. And that court 
bringing back OPS is the biggest revenue or freebie invented. Unquote. Himachal's debt to GDP is already 43%. It will rise soon. The pension expenditure has risen from 2% of revenue receipts in 80 to 20% now. Many Congress states are gladly joining in his harakiri. Finally, just 30 seconds. Giving subsidies or cash and kind to citizens for appeasement is definitely a freebie. Here, one can draw that line. Salaries to Malvis, IT parks only for Muslims. But again, Every party, including BJP, is doing this, appeasing Muslims. PM Pradhan Mantri Shadi Shagun Yojana is only for Muslim women in trust-free loan for Vox Vox. What is that? This is not welfare, Rahul. This is warfare. And the whole nation is going to suffer for generations to come. No, no, absolutely. Dr. Ranganathan, it is, it is one of those issues that cuts across all political lines. But the brazenness with which we are encountering it now, and we are that's why I kept this focus very tight and I began by asking the BJP spokesperson in the state of Telangana, they're also asking for people to go free of cost to Ayodhya, etc, etc. I started with that and I'm going to bring Shahzad back into this before I open this up to the Telangana Congress. But the fact of the matter is, viewers, it is very difficult. As you go deeper and deeper into this Maya, it becomes very difficult to basically draw that line between freebie and welfareism. Where someone's freebie ends, someone's welfareism begins or vice versa. And there is a problem here. Now, I think for a few years, we should just abandon it all and come back with a clean state and then begin to analyze. But even there, viewers, it becomes difficult because we are also dealing with lives at the end of the day. And it's not easy. Fighting poverty is not easy. Everyone struggles. But when it takes on this very invidious tenor, which is that you select people not on their backwardness, financial backwardness. You do it using other criteria like religion. It takes me back, viewers, seriously. I'm telling you, it takes me back to the beginning of last century. Where the British made it a fetish to divide us on the basis of our religion. And they sowed that seed so deep that we harnessed... We harnessed a partition, a bloody one at that. So the Telangana Congress, I need to bring you in. Mr. Shudat Ali, you have a problem. You have a problem and you're creating a problem. I think the BJP spokesperson is wanting to respond. Let me first get you into what Dr. Ranganathan said and Mr. Bigala said, and then I'll come straight back to, um, to uh, the, uh, the con Telangana Congress spokesperson. Yes, Shudat Punawala, would you like to answer? How can you go around apportioning blame when uh, you are part of, of the all, problem? Uh, first of all, the difference between a freebie and a welfare is one example I'll give you. Giving 1500 rupees to every woman, whether her economic status requires her to be given that money is a freebie clearly. But when you say that instead of giving 1500 to every woman, those women who are meritorious and pass a certain graduation level and they for their higher education or for their other uh, movement forward in life will be given certain benefit so that they can continue to take forward the education that they are doing that is a targeted scheme so there's a clear difference between what is a welfare and what is a freebie but having said that to dilute that when conflate it with what is being said in telangana in telangana the government came up with an order that 250 units will be given to muslim shops free they came up with an order that Muslim rioters name should be removed from publications because this will not create a good social harmony. It should have done for all. They say that UPSC training will be given exclusively to Muslim students so that they can become IAS or IPS. They should have given it to all. So my point is that the difference between what we are seeing here and in other cases is that a specific religion is being targeted only and only for the sake of vote bank politics and that has a direct impact on the constitutional scheme of things. For instance, reservations have been contemplated under the Supreme Court and under the Constitution of India only to be given on the basis of backwardness, education and social. But when you say that the entire religion should be given the reservation, so under current scheme in Telangana, even Azharuddin, somebody who is very well off can get the reservation under Muslim reservation. Does Azharuddin deserve Muslim reservation? So that is the difference and I think the two should not be conflated. One is clearly unconstitutional. The other is about targeting it to the beneficiary who deserves it. Okay, let me bring in the Congress, uh, Telangana Congress spokesperson here. 40, 45 seats out of 119. Sir, 
the Muslims have a big say in determining the outcome. That's almost 40% of the seats. Is that the reason why we are seeing this largesse sir, targeted at the Muslim community with making exceptions for others? Mr. Ali, is that the reason? First of all, I would like to comment on your narration. Right, sir. Your narration was looking like the speech of Bharatiya Janta Party. Okay. Communal speech of Bharatiya Janta Party. The people on this panel are not having the idea what they are talking. Right. See, Shadi Mubarak scheme is meant for the Muslims. Kalyana Lakshmi schemes is meant for the <laughs> mainstream Hindus. There is no question of any reservation in that. Right. Then, I would like to ask one simple question. Why we have given reservations under the constitution to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe? What is the concept? The concept is very simple. They are being discriminated. They got atrocities. So, to do justice with these communities, reservation was given. Today, the Muslims are having a lot of problems, lynching problem, fanaticism from the BJP side and other, uh, you know, uh, Sangh Parivar members. So, the reservation is meant for Indians. The Muslims are not Indians. They are Indians. They are weak. Why? The Bharatiya Janta Party gave reservation to the upper caste people. 10% reservation. Why they have given? Including the Muslims. Why they have given? Because they are economically weaker section. Because they are having a lot of problems to uh, lead the life, day-to-day -day life. That's why the reservation was given to them. So, when everybody is getting, you know, benefits under different schemes, for example, Shahzad Punawala is not having the idea. IAS study circles are meant for every mainstream Hindus. There was no special coaching for the minorities. So, they have given the special coaching through minorities, through minority department, not from the main department. So, what is wrong in it? So, very simple. There, okay. is, a, there, there is a wave of now, you Mr. Know, Ali, uh, communalism. Yeah. The communalism will okay. definitely defeat the purpose of the concept of India. Okay. So, now can I just ask yes. you a simple straightforward question? You attacked me directly saying I am some BJP spokesperson. Do you know someone called Naziruddin Ahmed? Yes. Do you know Naziruddin Ahmed? Yes. Is he a BJP spokesperson, yes. sir? He was a member of the Constituent Assembly from West Bengal. The BJP did not exist. Should I tell you what he said? No, he's so a BJP man, no, no, according no, no, to you. So if you no, no, one second, one second, no, no, one second, no, no, no. one you second, see. one second. Let me finish, sir. Ah, please, please, please. I let please, you please, 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 sir. please, please. So I think the reservations he said of any kind are against the healthy political growth. They imply a kind of inferiority. They arise out of a sense, a kind of fear complex, and its effect would be really to reduce the minority into a statutory minority. Then again, Muslim reservation is psychologically linked up with separate electorates, which led to so many disasters. This is not a BJP man speaking, viewers. No question. Okay, uh, no. one second, one second, sir. One second. Yes, no question like that. One second, sir, one second. Muhammad Ismail Khan. This is what he said, another member of the Constituent Assembly, not a BJP man. BJP was only formed in 1980, we are talking about 1947 viewers. Because of this reservation of seats, the mentality. let me finish. Because of this reservation of seats would only keep alive communalism. The same communalism that Mr. Shujat Ali wants to end. These people, these very same people who are against no, no, no. communalism, asking, who are secularists, no, no, want to I perpetuate. Asking, I am asking a simple Second no, no, question, no. sir. Mr. Ali, I am asking you a, a second question. So, in my defense, yeah. I am saying that I am speaking today by quoting the founding fathers of our constitution. If they are BJP members, then, sir, I will wear that badge with pride. If, according to you, these Muslim members of the constituent assembly are BJP members, sir, that's your view, but I will love them forever, I will support them forever, and I don't mind being called BJP like you're calling them BJP, it's fine. I'm only echoing them, number one. Number two, sir, I want to ask you a specific question. You are saying that Muslims will be given a quota under the OBC, caste, caste overall, yes. caste quota. Yes, sir, you're saying that, right? I haven't misheard it. No, no, no. What I am telling no, you. No, I have not misheard it, right? Janata so I want to ask you, sir. Does Islam no, no, no. have caste in it? Does the faith have caste in it, sir? Just tell me this. See, yes, no. You, you, Do you, you have you, casteism? No, no. You, you speak. 
see casteism is different okay. social injustice is different no i am saying you are giving them under an obc quota yes injustice. or no when social injustice no 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 you see just listen to me you are having lot of injustices with the muslim minorities the bjp also has realized that they are having weaker position in the society okay. that's why they have given reservations under ews why they have given reservation to the upper Sir, caste sir ews the upper, upper ews is in the name economic of economy. weaker sections it is not religiously backward sections yes, please and yes, the courts have yes. come out and no, said no. several times see, excuse me Mr Ali no, no, you, you are confused see, courts here can, okay. courts can courts can courts can change courts courts can change the you know their their their, their own uh, uh, narrations courts have changed their narrations where have they changed after it? the amendment court where has where have they changed things. they have not amended anything yes. so the courts in have not in, in, Dr Ranganathan and Shahzad Punawala want in to come many in cases, yes one by one yes let dr uh, ranganathan uh, take uh, by the way uh, by rahul way. i have to ask a very simple question okay one mr. simple question Just a fact yes yeah mr right. ali good evening did you yeah, i'll take come back to you shadat uh, punawala no i'll come back to you 30 seconds just let uh, dr ranganathan ask his question i'll come right back to you no problems yes yeah good evening mr ali just a very simple question did you take the state subsidy when you went for hajj yes there we go rahul yes This is paper. supposed to be a but secular. Actually, but actually, this is supposed to be a secular state. The definition of secularism is complete difference and differentiation, separation what? between church and state. The state has please, no business. Secular, in, no, no, secular. Sir, let me please allow me. Can uh, can can I can, can I interpret? Can I interpret? Can, yeah, can I interpret? Yes, no, no, no. Yes, I am just course, asking a simple. Of course, you please. No, no, I am asking a simple question. Sir, sir, please one second. Just because somebody asking, else is committing no, no, a murder, I am asking a simple. Don't allow you to commit a murder. When you say that you are proudly secular, what business did you have of taking the state subsidy or money from the state to go on a religious duty? You had no purpose, or you are not. Arre, secular. What are you talking? Are you 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 are, are talking senseless thing? You know, Anyhow, subsidy viewers, is part of part in. and parcel of the welfare state. Okay. it's part and parcel viewers subsidy is part Now and you parcel look at the, you look at the state. new breed you look at the new breed of indian politician <laughs> and you look at the you look at the breed that frame the constitution it is like they are two different what? people I, they are completely two different, different breeds they are two different breeds ideologically they are two different breeds ideologically yes shahzad punala yes one minute shahzad gentlemen gentlemen let's not speak over each other no no one minute No, no, please give me one minute. No, no, please give me one minute. Oh, no, 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 sir, Prime sir, Minister uh, Shaza, of India. No, my name has been called. No, Mr. Ali, my name has been called. The Prime Minister of India. No, 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 I do not yield. Let me. How he uh, laid the foundation of Babri Masjid, uh, Ram Temple. Sir, what are you talking about, uh, Rahul? Please. Yes, uh, Shahzad Punawala. Yes. Where is Ram Temple coming to all of this? Uh, Rahul. Yeah. Rahul. Hmm. Rahul yeah. first yeah. of all the Ram temple is being built by the Hindus it's not being built by a government it's being built by a Hindu trust yeah. and the Hindus have given money for it including people like me or nationalists have also given money maybe Sonia Gandhi should also donate for it anyways that's not the point the point is Mr Ali do you think Mr Patel Sardar Patel was a communal man because Sardar Patel opposed religious based reservations Ambedkar ji opposed it and the supreme court has upheld that religion cannot be the basis of giving reservation you can give reservation on the basis of social and educational and economic backwardness but not on religion so are you saying sardar patel the congress party in the 1947 which was part of the constituent assembly and the supreme court is common and please also tell me mr ali that muslims were in a better position in 1947 or in 2004 If Muslims were in a better position in 2004 and 1947, you did not give them religious reservation, but in 2004 to 14, you wanted to give them religious reservation, which was struck down by the Supreme Court. So that means after 50, 60 years of Congress rule, Muslims have become even in a worse position that you now need to give them reservation on the basis of religion, going against the Constitution, going okay. against Ambedkar. Okay. So now that let means me, you're the most communal party. Well, let me tell you what Jawaharlal Nehru said, viewers. The same debate. That's what I'm telling you. There is a whole new breed of Congress people who have come through. That breed doesn't identify the breed that has gone by. They are just completely different breeds, viewers, and they accuse the anchor of being communal or what have you. When I'm only quoting their own greats, they're the people who have given them this legacy of Congress Party. And remember these names, viewers. Forget my name. 
I am a communal bigot according to this gentleman. But you remember these names, ZH Lari, Mr. Naziruddin Ahmed, all stood up to say we don't want your handout, religious handout. Begum Aizad Rasul. Make these notes, viewers. Muhammad Ismail Khan. All those studying for IS exams, make these notes. Jawaharlal Nehru, United Provinces General. Then comes Tajmul Hussain, Hussain, Bihar. Again, from a Muslim reserve seat. Molana Hazrat Mohani, United Provinces. Again, Muslim viewers. Then, viewers, Colonel B. H. Zaidi, Rampur Banaras, State. Remember these names, note them down. You can go and look at what they had to say and compare what they are saying with what Rahul Gandhi says, what Mr. Um, you know, the Congress Telangana spokesperson is saying. Just compare them, viewers. Compare them. They didn't even have live TV at that time, so they couldn't blame Rahul Shivshankar. But I don't know, viewers. I want to move on because I'll tell you something, viewers. This is a very serious issue and it eats at the heart of what we want to be as a nation. If you want to be united, viewers, then this is not the road that we need to go down.